Welcome back to the channel folks. Today we are at Ferguson Marine, Port Glasgow. Seems to be in a bit of trouble. Seems to be in a bit of bother. They haven't submitted their their latest tax return. And they've been given two months to file it with company's house. All the brown stuff's going to hit the fan. And the key will win the door. You can see they're hard at work at the moment building a ship. This is the last shipyard in the Clyde. <coughs> SMP, Scottish Government took it over about four years ago, I think, four or five years ago. It's not like it's not like anything that the Scottish Government touches this tumpty diarrhea, is it? So there's a going by a news story here. I'll put it on the screen. Ferguson Marine ferry firm sanctioned twice over financial fails. The taxpayer supported nationalised shipyard firm at the centre of the nation's ferry fiasco has been sanctioned twice over its financial dealings before facing moves to be closed. This is from the Herald online. Uh, Ferguson Marine, which was taken over by the Scottish Government four years ago, after its financial collapse under the control of tycoon businessman Jim McCall, we are due to deliver accounts on December 31st, but are still due. Company's House, the UK Government Executive Agency which oversees the incorporation of firms across the nation has triggered a strike-off process which could see Fergus Marine and three other allied companies that are trying to deliver Two long delayed lifeline ferries formally closed. Ferguson Marine have confirmed the problems relate to audit issues that were beyond their control. Certainly hustling bustle in there, it's busy. Uh, Ferguson Marine already received a financial sanctions amounting to at least £600 for failing to, failing to file details of financial affairs in good time three years ago before the new leadership was brought in. So the bull Jim wasn't submitting his tax returns either. <clears throat> now the firm is due to incur penalties of at least £1,500 for late filing four sets of accounts. <sighs> Fergus Marine do not believe the accounts will be filed at the end of March. If it goes beyond March, the penalties will become more than doubled. So, not great news there as well. The compulsory strike-off process only begins after the firm has sent at least two formal letters of warning while detailing the issues they have. According to Companies House, a complete failure to file accounts is a criminal offence and directors can be personally fined in criminal courts. Criminal courts? Let's see a wee close look at that. Plenty going on. It's been done up. They had a nice big red brick building here prior to that and they built this new new office block. Which personally I think the old one looked better, more traditional. Fergus Marine work safe. You are now entering a designated area and all personnel proceeding this point must wear following PPE head, eye, foot and protective clothing. There seems to be a turnstile there as well to get in. It 
it's, it doesn't seem that long ago this big ship got started here, it's certainly it's certainly flying on with it. Uh, first strike notices are due to be published on Tuesday and declare that the firms have two months before they are struck off and cease to exist as an official company. Ferguson Marine say they have assurances that the firm will not be removed from the company's register as long as they meet the undertakings given that they will file accounts by the end of March. <coughs> Company South, however, still have begun the process to dissolve the four companies that make up the shipyard group that are all owned by the Scottish Government. Glenn Sanox and Hull A02 were due online in the first half of 2018 when Fergus Marine was under the control of Mr McCall. With only with one initially to serve Arran and the other to serve Sky Triangle routes North Hughes and Harris, but they are at least five years late. The, la the last estimates suggest the cost of delivery had more than quadrupled from being the original 97 million. Unbelievable. Ferguson Marine can apply for a suspension application to Company's House, but would be expected to resolve the issues that led to the process starting, including filing the missing financial statements and sending off other relevant business information. They may also have to provide proof that they are still trading. So, they're in a bit of brown stuff, by the looks of it. They're in a bit of the old poo poo. Well, that's that, the new. I think this red was a, a new. Is that a new addition as well? The whole place. I'll see if I can find an old photograph of it with the old red building here. It used to be quite like that. It's more open plan now, you can see in there. Which you couldn't really. There's a big double gate here as well that you couldn't see in hardly at all. You needed a boat to get a good look at the shipyard previously. But now, but now you can see in. I'm going to take a drone up. I don't think I'll go across there, the, the boundary from private to private land here. Although I could. Because I don't own the airspace, but I wouldn't want to put MDF up a scaffold and you know, I think more safer to just keep it outside the gates but have a good look in from here. Old tracker over there. So oh, there we go, I think I'll get the drone up. Got a nice smoking shelter here by the looks of it. Cigarette. Lots of them are on lots of them on the floor. Discarded. Cars illegally parked. Double yellow lines and on a pavement. Plenty of space to get past, right enough, but it's not the point. It's not the point at all, is it? These cars over here are parked on the pavement. So we've got the drone up, having a wee look over. Take it up high enough there. New Art Castle there, you see. The pier, all used to be the part of the shipyard buildings. There's the new ship that's getting built there.
We'll take a wee screenshot of that. So all the hustle and bustle. I'll take a screenshot of that, it's okay. Brand new office complex and you see in the background there as well as a whole a whole load of porta cab and office space as well. Really has been expanded in the past few years but they're not going to submit their tax returns. Not good is it? I just wanted to get a wee look at the the yard from here because I've never seen it from this angle before. There's the ship getting built out. Lots of noise and banging and clattering. Oh, too far because I'm zoomed in. Gotta be slow here. Hustle and bustle. So that's that, the security camera is on me over there, I can see that, but apart from that, nobody's come out to bother us, I just wanted to run this wee story there, just wanted to run the story. Aye. You know that castle port Glasgow, Ferguson's. They haven't, haven't submitted their tax returns in and soapy bubble unless they do. Alright, thanks for watching this man, we'll see what we can get in the next.